Hey YouTube, Dawson Rider here with a review of the Yudo Breaker from Russia Sentai Tokyuger. This is Toki Rokugo's main weapon in the show. I'm going to take a very quick look at the packaging before we bring the actual toy in. Um, as usual, it's pretty basic, but pretty neat packaging. Uh, you got a picture here of Rokugo holding the weapon. Um, on the other end here, it shows that it comes with the drill Resha. Um, on the top, you kind of just got a generic action shot of him. Um, same thing on the side, just some sort of generic action shots. Uh, image of the toy, and then on the back, you know, it shows how it functions. Place the drill rush in, you get sounds, advertisements for the rest of the line. Um, yeah, just nothing too spectacular, but um, I, I just really do like the packaging on these sometimes, so I just thought I'd show it. But now let's bring in the actual toy. Alright, so here we have the Yudo Breaker and the Drill Rush that it comes with. Just in case, so I do not forget um, in any way, uh, let's just take a look at the Drill Resha. This is honestly a pretty basic Resha. It's really boring looking, uh, there's really not a lot to it, uh, to be honest. It's primarily blue here, then you got the golden drill, maybe a little gold here. Uh, pretty boring. Um, but just like with all others, you can attach it to things, you know, you can see right here, you can attach it to the other Resha to make a longer train, and you can actually also attach it um, to Tokyo there if you want to. I'm um, just setting it on there. Uh, I'm not going to bother showing it just because it's really nothing too spectacular. I mean, you just pop it on Tokyo and it's like, hey, here's his arm. Um, but yeah, you can do that. So there's that. The uh, the most like neat thing about this is the fact that it actually used to be the shadow lines in the show, which I think is actually kind of neat. Um, but anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at it in the Tokyo Changer and show that it has sounds. So here is the Tokyo Changer. So, And let's put it in. So uh, let's do a engine noise first. And then there is the summon sounds. And just for the heck of it, uh, show that you can do a line change. And let's go. All right, and then uh, just to demonstrate here quick, in case you haven't seen the review, let's turn it on. Here is the Apple Changer. Uh, now this thing has drill noises, but it has nothing to do whether you have this or not. So you press this, scan, you can scan this. However, it doesn't matter, you can just press the button, so, see? Yeah, so, just in case anyone asked me to show it, it doesn't matter, I could scan, like, a marker through there and it would work. But anyway, let's set this aside for now, and take a look at the weapon itself. Alright, so this, like I said, is the main weapon that Rokugo uses in the show. Um, it's a very interesting weapon, because, you know, it's like, uh... He, he repairs the, the line, and he uses something like this before he becomes Rokugo to wave down the train to move. So it's, it's very much along that theme. Um, and I actually really dig its design. It's kind of a silly thing, um, but it fits in with the theme. Um, but I do like the design of the weapon, and I think uh, the toy itself here actually isn't that bad uh, lengthwise. I mean, it's probably a little bit smaller, obviously. Uh, but given what it's supposed to be, it just doesn't feel like it's quite as small. Um... So yeah, it's just, um, it's kind of a nice, like, midway point. It makes a decent display piece, and it doesn't feel too small. Um, and, and it looks pretty good, I think. I mean, the paint looks good on it. You got pretty much the orange and black, and, uh, these little, like, sort of emergency-looking yellow and black lines. Um, and then the whole blade here, or whatever, um, is this clear red plastic here for the lights. Um, and yeah, it just overall looks pretty good. Um, I dig it. Alright, so now let's take a look at the sounds. Uh, so we'll just turn this on right here by flipping the switch back here, and you'll hear lights here. I just said you'll hear lights. 
How would you hear lights? But yeah, you get activation noises. Uh, so in this mode, you get essentially just a couple different sounds, um, and it will alternate the way the LEDs light up here. So let's press this button right here and get those. So as you can see, just a couple different noises and the LEDs will light up um, in different ways. So that's kind of neat, but that's honestly all it does in this mode. Um, now what you're going to want to do is put the drill rasha in here. So just press this button, this will pop up, you're going to have to actually pull it up to get it to lock out, and the rasha will go right in there. It does not matter what rasha you put in, this does not have a reader at all. Just make sure when you do slide it in that you actually are using the sliding mechanism that's in there, so it locks, otherwise it'll just be flimsy and it won't even work. So then press it down. So it'll make those noises, and then... And then the attack noises if uh, you press it again. And then, um, when you press it down again, it will, you'll have a different um, pre-attack noise. Yeah, so you do get that different noise. It's pretty much just the pre-noise that's different. And then there is a dumb hidden sound, which activates after you have uh, popped this open and pressed it down five times. And I don't think it's dumb that it has another sound, th another, th um, another sound. I just think it's dumb the five times. I think it would be better if it was just the third one in succession. It just seems kind of silly to me. Um, but they do things like this a lot. So let's go ahead and get that. Alright, and there you go. That is pretty much it. Um, so you have to, you know, essentially press it five times and it makes that a little more of a, a bored noise. I don't know, like I said, I think it should have been just in succession, uh, to, like, for the third one to get the different sound, especially since it's a bored one. It kind of makes funny sense that after you mess with it so many times, it's so bored. But at the same time, it also doesn't seem worth it. Um, but yeah, uh, overall, this thing's pretty okay. Um, I don't think it's a spectacular weapon that I'm like, oh my god, you have to go out and buy this right now. It's amazing. But I liked it, uh, kind of like the Changer. I liked it a lot more than I thought I would. I like the concept behind it. I think it looks pretty decent. Um, the sounds aren't anything to write home about necessarily. I mean, there's not a huge amount, but it's got a decent enough amount, and they're, they're clear, um, and they sound good. Um, so yeah, if you really like uh, Rokugo or really like this weapon and you want to pick it up, I don't think you'll be too disappointed. Um, but I don't think it's an absolute must-have either. It's just kind of a, a solid uh, Tokyo roleplay weapon toy. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Until next time, make sure you check out the crazy podcast at writersradionrambles.com. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, this is Dawson Writer, signing out.